In this video, we will cover proper usage of the Ericsson Air 21 slash Air 32 mount for the classic AAT. There are two versions of the AAT Ericsson Air mount that have been produced by Sunsight. The original Air 21 mount with fixed bumpers built prior to August of 2015, and the updated Air 21 mount with configurable bumpers that also supports Air 32 and is known as the Air 21 slash Air 32 mount. Both versions of these mounts support the Air 11 when the mount is configured for the Air 21 antenna. As Ericsson continues to launch new Air products, the required mounts are produced by Sunsight. If you would like your original Air 21 converted to support Air 32 as well, please contact sales at sunsight.com to schedule the modification. Although this training video uses the original Air 21 mount in the demonstration, the usage and instructions for both the Air 21 and Air 21 slash Air 32 mounts are identical, except that the Air 21 slash Air 32 mount has the ability to be configured for use on either antenna whereas the Air 21 mount has a fixed configuration and only supports the Air 21 and Air 11. The popular Ericsson Air family provides a tough challenge for aligning devices. The highly contoured shape of the Air antennas prevents the use of standard mounts from all GPS alignment tool manufacturers. In response to this challenge, Sunsight Instruments designed and built the Air mount which makes the AAT the only alignment device capable of making accurate and repeatable alignment measurements of air antennas for azimuth, tilt, roll, and height. The air mount is the required mount when aligning the Ericsson Air 11, Air 21, or Air 32 antenna systems. It was created specifically for the unique design of the air antenna in cooperation with Ericsson. Do not use the AAT standard side mount option on the air antennas as the result will be inaccurate. The standard side mount cannot be seated consistently on the Air family due to the antenna's irregular shape. The Air mount has the ability to be placed on either the right or left side of the antenna, and the AAT mounting plate can be attached to allow mounting on the front or side as shown in the video. Choose the safest mounting position, being sure that the AAT will have a good view of the sky for best satellite reception. Be sure to use all proper safety procedures when working on radio frequency equipment. Unlike the standard side bracket for the AAT, the large plate of the air mount is placed against the front of the air antenna, and the small plate against the side of the antenna so that it rests on the rubber bumpers on both surfaces. Correct mount attachment assures the AAT mount will provide consistent measurements. Refer to the Using the AAT Side Mount video for more information on general mounting instructions. The bumpers that are used on the original Air 21 mount are fixed and should never be removed. These specific bumpers are required to make the mount produce accurate results. If the bumpers become damaged, contact Sunsight to obtain the proper replacements. Do not use the mount without the bumpers installed. The only difference between the original Air 21 mount and the newer Air 21 slash Air 32 mount are the two movable threaded bumpers and knobs. These two bumpers and knobs are installed into a matching set of drilled holes in the mount labeled as 21 or 32. If you are going to align an Air 21 antenna or an Air 11 antenna, Secure the two bumpers and knobs in the two holes marked 21. For Air 32 alignments, secure the bumpers in the two holes marked 32 instead. These specific bumpers are required to make the mount produce accurate results. If the bumpers become damaged, contact Sunsight to obtain the proper replacements. Do not use the mount without the bumpers installed. Failure to use the correct holes for the threaded bumpers and knobs will result in incorrect alignment of the air antenna. Whenever you reposition the AAT mounting plate on the air mount, it's extremely important that you fully tighten the screws which hold the mounting plate in place. This mounting plate must be secure in order to ensure that accurate azimuth solutions are obtained by the AAT. It's good practice to always check that the screws are secure before attaching the mount to the air antenna. Important! 
Do not attempt to attach the air mount to the antenna with the AAT unit already installed. Always install the mount first, making sure it is secure, and then slide the AAT into the mount. Always use an approved safety strap to tether the AAT to its mounts. Check that the rubber bumpers evenly touch the front and side of the antenna. Attach the air mount high up on the antenna, making sure that the strap remains on the surface directly below the antenna mount and not be allowed on the aluminum metal cover. The T-handle securing strap used by this mount is very similar to the one used on the AAT side mount. Fasten the top T-handle first by securing it to the first tooth on the strap. Then do the same for the bottom strap. At this point, you will want to pull the seat belt style strap tight to initially secure the mount to the antenna. Initially placing the T-handle straps into the first tooth is important because it provides the most amount of rubber in contact with the antenna, which in turn helps to secure the AAT in place. Do not force the strap if it is not completely secure right away. You will do the actual tightening with the two black rubber T-handle straps. Pull one of the T-handles through to the second or third tooth and then do the same with the other handle. When you pull the T-handles tight, be sure to pull out and away from the antenna to keep even pressure across the entire strap as shown here in the video. Once again, check to see that the rubber bumpers are evenly touching the front and side of the antenna. You should now have the appropriate amount of pressure for a secure mount on the antenna supporting the AAT while not damaging the radome of the antenna. Turn the AAT on and let the unit achieve azimuth. In other words, AZM is solid. Slide the AAT into the mount and tighten the adjustable grip lever. Set the orientation of the AAT. Refer to the video Keypad Startup and Operation for a demonstration on how to determine the correct orientation for the AAT. Now take measurements as usual. Power down the AAT before removing it from the mount. Remove the AAT base unit by loosening the adjustable clamp lever and sliding the AAT out. Depress the gravity latch to allow the unit to slide completely out. Detach the mount by unhooking the rubber strap from the teeth. Do not release the cam buckle. This will save you time as you mount on the next antenna. The AAT Ericsson Air 21 slash Air 32 mount was designed specifically for use with the air antennas and it must be used to obtain reliable results on these antenna systems. The AAT Ericsson Air 21 slash Air 32 mount can also be used on the Ericsson Air 11 antenna when configured for the Air 21 antenna. The mount is always placed across the front slash face of the antenna, on either the right or left side. Unlike the AAT side mount, it is never placed across the rear of the antenna. The bumpers on the original Air 21 mount are fixed and should never be removed except to replace if they are damaged. Use only Sunside approved Air 21 bumpers on this mount. The bumpers on the Air 21 slash Air 32 mount are fixed except for the two threaded bumpers and knobs. The fixed bumpers should never be removed except to replace if they are damaged. Use only Sunside approved Air 21 slash Air 32 bumpers on this mount. Do not use the mount without the fixed bumpers as well as the two threaded bumpers and knobs. Moving, removing, or using the Air 21 slash Air 32 mount with bumpers incorrectly installed, missing, or damaged will result in inaccurate measurements. Sunside Instruments continues to support new antenna designs, having created custom mounts for the KMW tubular antennas, the AAT front mount for man basket use, as well as various microwave mounts. This innovative and proactive approach makes the AAT the most versatile and best value alignment system in the marketplace. This concludes the video on using the AAT Ericsson Air 21 slash Air 32 mount option.